Ready throw down. He's operating his own team this year. That Gazoo Racing. Ready. Toyota Supra. And of course, the Falcon Tire. Uh, look, we get a cone. We get a restart here. All right, we'll find out uh, exactly what happened. But it does seem like a restart. Also offers complimentary ignition product Changing lines. Tires again. He's uh, he's he's jumped around on quite a few different manufacturers over the years. But now he's going against the Falcon Tire shrouded Ford Mustang, and already you see that Ken Gucci having hiccups, having problems right out of the gate. Justin Pollock looks like I believe he will get a full pull and. As long as he keeps it between the lines, he will have the victory here as Ken Gushi turned around and went right back up the hill. So, unfortunately for Ken Gushi, not a great weekend for the Goosh. Yeah. What it is, yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah, it looks exactly like that, Ryan. If you could see Ryan and his hand <laughs> movements, he looked just like a Ninja Turtle. Here we go, no strikes here for Jeff Jones as we continue on with this battle. You gotta imagine it's playing a little bit of a psyche here with two restarts. Jeff Jones out front. Ken Gushi right there as he tucks in. A lot of disruption with those vehicles Jump, going over the jump. Now Jeff Jones in that second outside zone. Nice job by Jones and Ken Gushi. Close proximity. Does he get all the way BC out? internals, run BC. Shout out Brian Crower has clean start. There we go, across the nose of Jeff Jones at his 370Z. Ken Gushi high on the bank. Nice job by Ken Gushi. Past that first inside clip. Jeff Jones comes out of the smoke right there on the side of the Toyota Supra. Look at Jeff Jones. Right on the door of Ken Gushi. And brings it across a great. Adjusting your driving style uh, depending on the condition. So let's find out right here how Ken Gushi and Simon Olsen adapt. There we go. Ken Gushi, Simon Olsen, two Supras out here on the course. About to throw down Ken Gushi in that first outside zone. Simon Olsen, again, another Norwegian driver behind the wheel of a Supra. And look at Ken Gushi. Gets that back right into it. Goes deeper and deeper into that outside zone. And Simon Olsen keeps his composure. Now past that front clip, there goes Olsen. And Gushi, let's see how they handle this last and final outer zone. And both of them bring it across again, kicking over that. Simon Olsen, great looking car, as is obviously the Supra in general. Some rad videos coming out there from Toyota Gazoo Racing, featuring Ken Gushi, Osbo, Turk. And here goes Simon Olsen. Ken Gushi taking a way shallower line, nowhere near that outside zone, getting into formation. And here goes Olsen into the outside zone, Gushi. Having some difficulty getting out to the outside zone. Oh, Simon Olsen feeling all of it. And now past that front clip as Ken Gushi is having a tough time here in the wet conditions. Oh! Oh, man. So, uh, again, Gushi just on the inside. Yep. Thank you, Ryan Lontane, for elaborating on that outcome. Congratulations. Matt Field does continue on. Right now, Dylan Hughes, Ken Shiro Gushi. Dylan Hughes, that, oh boy. And Ken Gushi, Ryan, just another scenario. No. As Dylan Hughes continues through the course, Ken Gushi, I just have to imagine frustration is filling that cockpit. As Dylan Hughes, that Permatex, Fast Orange Rain X BMW crosses the finish line. The contact he is a veteran of the sport when you have mechanicals and you can't go out there. I mean, it's the same thing that's been going on with Chris this year. Yeah. Right? It's just, yep. it, it's just frustrating for the team and for everybody. All right, regardless, you know Ken Gushi wants to put on a show and he could step up. And right now he is rising to the occasion. So Dylan Hughes really does need to apply that pressure. But he does have the advantage, as you said, Ryan, now going to that second outside zone. Dylan Hughes doesn't get all the way out there, but like I said, he might be a little timid here as he knows what just transpired. If he keeps it where the rubber meets the road, it looks like Dylan Hughes will be getting the victory and advancing on 16, and that does look like it will be the case. One position.
position spread between Kazuya Taguchi and Ken Gushi. And now let's get to the battle. Kazuya Taguchi leading the up garage ISR 86. And Shiro Gushi in the chase position. That great Toyota Gazoo Racing Supra. Kazuya a lot higher there. We're going to need Ken Gushi again, like the judges said, where those lead tires are in that rear position. Look, Kazuya hanging out really hard and long. Man, that thing was hung out to dry for quite a bit, Ryan. As Kazuya Taguchi so has a wide swing, but he does tighten it up, kind of a wider apex. As Ken Gushi, you can see him going, beeline towards family, the aka his friends, are, are just putting in a lot of work, and he would really like to see the results of his hard work. Here we go. As Ken Gushi will lead, and we got a clean start here with that Toyota Gazoo race. Whoa, Kazuya! Look at that, almost marking his door with a little rubber tattoo as Ken Gushi. We'd like to see Kazuya a little bit higher, but Gushi takes that proper line into that power alley. Looks like Gushi says, all right, enough messing around. I'm going to throw it down here. Pull my town into that final outside zone right in front of the fans. Big angle there from Gushi and Kazuya. All right, well, thank you very much as we see Ken Gushi and Kazuya Taguchi on the line. And here we go. So this is a one more time battle. Remember, Gushi. Having that problem, thank you, Jen. As Kazuya to Gucci, looks like Gucci now gets close to Gucci. Nice and high on the bank. We are seeing good proximity, but Gucci does need to get a little higher. He does that right there towards the latter portion of the track. Set him up for the power alley. Surging forward to the side of Gucci, actually exceeding the front nose of that vehicle. Throws him a bit offline on that inside clip, and Gucci digs deep. Gucci just. But uh, I. I I'd like to say do one one more time and that's it. Okay. Not the endless, the never-ending story. I don't want to betray you this, this piece. Here we go. Ken Gucci, Kazuya Taguchi. And look at that. Taguchi, he might... Oh, that's going to be an incomplete. Wow, look at this. So Ken Shiro Gushi might be given a gift. Now remember, Gushi does need to complete the entirety of this run because Taguchi is the chase driver, the lead driver. He needs to continue on. It looks like Gucci is one, two, three, four, five seconds away. Again, you got to let everybody know, is Seattle the best drift crowd ever or what? Here we go, Michael Essa, Ken Gucci. Here we go, Seattle. Michael Essa initiates high to the bank. Ken Gucci a little bit later than Michael Essa. Now both of them riding high. Michael Essa just a bit higher. You can tell by those hash marks on the lane. Now coming down to the power alley into that second outside zone. Ken Gucci shortens it up. Michael Essa, oh, we got contact. Houston, we have a problem. But Michael Essa not phased. Ken Gucci continues on. And that's exactly what he needed to do to really solidify what was going on there. No uh, substantial damage here, and we'll get the uh, second half underway. Here we go, Ken Gucci now leading out of that start chicane. You gotta think, how is Michael Essa gonna approach this? He goes tip to tail, now they go into formation. But Michael Essa, a very interesting approach, but it looks like he's got the horsepower, and he is right there next to him. But I would like to see him mimic that angle, but Gucci really pointed it on, like the line where he's at, as long as Essa keeps it clean. Oh, buddy, looks like we are going toe to toe, or nose to nose, wheel to wheel, door to door. The Seattle crowd erupts as they go across the finish line. Frederick and I know she did that, which is so good. I love it. Um, but uh, here we go, back with our one more time. This is Michael Essa and Ken Gushi. Michael Essa initiates high on the bank. Ken Gushi, you can see some wow. wavering there. Michael Essa sticking it to the wall. Jeez. Woo! Are you kidding me? Look at that. Nice job by Essa. And look at Essa gets all that second outer zone. He seems like he's fired up. That MCP Euro Liquid Volley BMW transitions in. The GT radials go round. Ken Gushi drops into formation, but yo, he was your number one qualifier. Hence why he is your number one qualifier. He is feeling this course. He is flowing with the course. He is hammering down. He's zip tying that, that go fast pedal down. He is sticking it to the wall. So now he needs to show up in a chase fashion. But Ken Gushi quickly gets to the wall. But Michael Essa, you can see nosing in. We need to mimic that angle as opposed to just getting that proximity. This is kind of reminiscent of Daigo Saito when you know proximity was the highlight. But we want to mimic. Oh, and Michael Essa makes a mistake. Uh oh. Oh boy. Things are going awry for Michael Essa as they bring in It was not, um, you know, shouldn't have been given the win for that reason, you know. There we go. All right, thank you, Lontan. Here we go. Two veterans of the sport, day oneers, Dayo Shiara, Kenshiro Gushi. Dayo Shiara initiates. Look at Ken Gushi getting close, but Ken Gushi has to back off and now die under the bridge. Have some of that second outside zone. Die a little bit deeper than Gushi. And now coming to that final inside clip, both of them. 
I think good, but uh, I think they may have got great friends. Yeah. So, it, it, you know, it's kind of a bummer to see him battle out in 32. Somebody's got to go home early. Uh, both here, both guys from Southern California. Yeah, let's find out who it is. Here we go, Kenshiro uh -oh. Gushi initiates. Nayo Shimura, you can see him pedaling back a little bit. Gushi gets all the way out there, a touch and go now, transitions under the bridge. Dayo Shihara looks like he takes a shallower line now. And Gushi swings it wide, brings it around into that final inside clip, gets lost in the smoke there. Dayo Shihara. Southern California resident in that Ford Mustang. Here we go, Dayo Shihara out front. What do you got, boys? Don't leave it in the judge's hands. Speaking of chase runs, those gentlemen definitely need to step up. And look at that, there you go, Ken Gushi. Oh, and we got contact. Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, I was going to say, Gushi is very, very He's going tight. against Odie Bakshis in the top 16. Odie Bakshis waiting in the wings. And here we go. We got a clean start. Kenshiro Gushi out front. He's going to need to throw down a big run. He's going to die this yard and make a mistake. Gushi with a little quivering there right before that touch and go. Now filling all that first outside zone, approaching that second outside zone. Both of them right there, Dio Shihara. Keeping pace with him around that final inside clip. And unfortunately for Ken Gucci, that lead car. But looks like Vaughn is saying, go ahead. Go ahead, Gucci, I got you. And there goes Ken Gucci. Ready, Toyota racing. Toyota Supra. There goes, look at Ken Gucci. Great angle from Gucci. These OG veterans since 2004. Vaughn King Jr. taking a bit of a lower line. Ken Gucci saying, yeah, I know you're leaving, Vaughn, but I might put you out. In a body bag, as Ken Gucci in that second outside zone. Von Ken Jr. not backing down. Now in that final outside zone. Ken Gucci into that final outside zone. Ryan, no real pivotal. Here we go. Von Ken Jr. out front. That Monster Energy Nitto Tire Ford Performance Mustang RTR Spec 5D. And Ken Gucci, that Toyota, the great Toyota Racing, Toyota Supra. Von Ken Jr. high on the bank. Now coming down into that transition past that inner clip. Into that second outer zone, the inner oval. Bonkin Jr. goes all the way out there. Ken Gushi taking a lower line. Massive angle there from Bonkin Jr. past that second inner clip. Ken Gushi now gets past it. Ryan, this might be the uppercut that Bonkin Jr. was looking for.